my name is Laurella van Tilburg and I'm a PhD candidate at the Department of Gastroenterology and Hepatology in the Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. On behalf of all involved co-authors, I would like to thank Endoscopy for this opportunity to discuss our paper titled Vertical Tumor Positive Resection Margins and the Risk of Residual Neoplasia after endoscopic resection of Barrett's neoplasia, a nationwide cohort with pathology reassessment. Nowadays, endoscopic resection has become the first-line curative treatment for early neoplasia in a Barrett's esophagus. Histopathological assessment of the endoscopic resection specimen is used to predict the risk of lymph node metastasis and the risk of residual neoplasia. This drives further clinical decision making, ranging from endoscopic follow up to surgery. Tumor positive resection margins are associated with a high risk of residual neoplasia, and therefore, current guidelines recommend adjunct surgery. However, residual neoplasia is not always present in the surgical resection specimen of these patients. And moreover, surgical resection is even when performed in high volume centers associated with a substantial mortality of 0 to 5%, morbidity of 20 to 50%, and a persistent decreased quality of life. Surgery may thus be unwanted overtreatment in a subset of patients with documented vertical R1 resection. Endoscopic reassessment after an R1 may be able to discern patients with residual neoplasia who should be offered surgery from those without residual neoplasia, who can be followed up endoscopically. In this study, we retrospectively included 110 patients treated with endoscopic resection for Barrett neoplasia with histological documented vertical R1 margin since 2008 in, the in all Dutch Barrett expert centers. In total, 101 of these 110 patients had macroscopically complete resections consisting of 17 T1A and 84 T1B carcinoma. Histopathological reassessment was performed by experienced Barrett's pathologists until consensus was reached regarding the vertical resection margin. In our study, only 75% of the documented cases were confirmed uh, tumor positive during reassessment, and therefore the histopathological evaluation of endoscopic resection specimens appears challenging. In patients with a confirmed tumor-positive vertical resection margin, 50% of these patients had no residual neoplasia during endoscopic reassessment or in the surgical resection specimen. And secondly, the cases of residual neoplasia uh, were always endoscopically visible. Biopsies from a normal appearing endoscopic resection scar did not detect additional neoplasia. In conclusion, upon confirmed vertical R1, margin after uh, endoscopic resection for Barrett's neoplasia, half of the patients had no residual neoplasia. The pathological evaluation of vertical resection margins appears challenging, especially for piecemeal resections, as only 75% of the documented cases were confirmed, confirmed in our study. 16% were re-diagnosed at not accessible margins during the assessment. Based on previous studies and our current data, we recommend an endoscop endoscopic reassessment performed 8 to 12 weeks after endoscopic resection with an arm one to detect residual neoplasia in order to identify patients that should be referred for additional step-up treatment. Our ret retrospective data support endoscopic assessment may be able to reliably detect residual neoplasia. In the absence of lymph node metastasis or residual neoplasia, strict endoscopic follow-up uh, might be considered as a valid alternative strategy for patients treated with endoscopic resection with an R1 vertically. In line with new insights on other high-risk factors, three-monthly endoscopic uh, surveillance with high-definition endoscopy and ultrasound may be considered for patients with a vertical R1 resection without residual neoplasia during endoscopic reassessment. Thank you for your attention.